What's up Disney Infiniteers? Welcome to today's video where we discuss new details on Marvel Battlegrounds in Disney Infinity 3.0. Today was New York Comic Con where Disney Infinity's Marvel Battlegrounds panel took center stage. Here's all the info we received today in case you missed the panel. Marvel Battlegrounds is a brawler. Think Power Stone meets Super Smash Bros with gameplay featuring fighting, picking up items, summons, and much more. Now we've known about the three stages in the Battlegrounds playset, and today we were shown some very cool concept art pieces. This includes the Brooklyn Train Yard, Wakanda, a location we haven't seen before featuring a giant panther statue, and an off-world location in the S.H.I.E.L.D. Lunar Base. While not many other details were given, it's cool to see this concept art shown. There was also some hints at more possible stages coming in the future. We were then shown concept art for the newly announced Captain America, the First Avenger, Hulkbuster, and Ultron figures. They also reiterated that Cap's new figure was added to the overall roster, meaning he won't take up a new character space. Additionally, we received our first gameplay footage of the playset including 2.0 Marvel characters. The very cool thing to note is that they balanced out all the gameplay within the playset so all characters will behave differently in the playset than they do in the toy box. This includes slightly different moves and even supers that you can get within the playset. With balance in mind, they mentioned that the 2.0 characters we've been using for a while now will feel fresh and different within the playset. They also have balanced out the levels, so a level 20 character won't necessarily defeat a level 1 figure inside the playset itself either. One of the biggest questions, however, was answered, and that is how will 4-player local co-op work? The great news is we will not need to purchase any new bases as it works like this. You will simply place a figure on the base and it will register that figure in the game. Think of it like a physical character select screen. Once you take that registered character off the base, you can place the next one on and so on until all four character slots are filled. Once characters are in and fighting, one of my favorite things I saw today was that the terrain can be destroyed and the levels will change dynamically. We also learned of special buttons players can hit to inflict damage onto others. Lastly, we were shown the first ever full match gameplay which you can watch on my channel in another video. The one thing to note is that all the 2.0 Marvel Power Discs will work inside Battlegrounds including costume and team-up discs, both of which summon characters. Think Smash Brothers with Pokemon type characters. I'll put out the link to that full match in the description below. Make sure to check it out, it's awesome. One final note is that they confirm that there will be a single player campaign included as well, featuring full cutscenes and cinematics just like the multiplayer mode in the playset. Everyone in the audience was given a pre-release Hulkbuster character for joining the panel as well. Overall, it was a fun panel with some nice tidbits of information. More figure announcements will be heading our way in the future, but I'm very excited about the playset and what we saw today. Let me know your thoughts on Marvel Battlegrounds in the comments section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for all the latest Disney Infinity news and content.